Joint heaters off. Locks, fill, and drain valves are closed. Flight data recorders for the SRBs activated. Payload bay vent doors closed. Three minus 31 seconds. The handoff has occurred to Space Shuttle Endeavour's onboard computers. Firing Jane armed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, go for main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour, expanding the International Space Station while creating a classroom in space. Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. The space shuttle begins its journey back into orbit. Endeavour rolling onto the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit, taking aim on the International Space Station for docking on Friday. 30 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines will soon throttle back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket to reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. This view from long-range trackers, now from a camera on the external fuel tank showing the bird's eye view of Endeavour heading towards space. 54 seconds into the flight, Endeavour already eight miles downrange, standing by for the throttle up call from Capcom, Chris Ferguson. Endeavour, go with throttle up. Go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Scott Kelly, joined on the flight deck by pilot Charlie Hobaugh, flight engineer Rick Mastracchio and Tracy Caldwell, Dave Williams, Al Drew and Barbara Morgan seated down on the mid deck, Morgan racing towards space on the wings of a legacy. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, Endeavour currently traveling almost 2,000 miles an hour, 14 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three good fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units, three good main engines. Endeavour flying straight as an arrow, one minute, 55 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation, guidance now converging. Endeavour's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming Endeavour for a precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. The propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited, providing Endeavour with a kick in the pants for the next minute and a half, assisting the shuttle and its crew on its climb to orbit. Endeavour, 40 miles in altitude, 59 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling more than 3,400 miles an hour. Three minutes into the flight, Endeavour, 75 miles downrange. Traveling almost 4,000 miles an hour, 47 miles in altitude. All of its systems looking good. Endeavour flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle's fuel tank. We're coming up on the point of negative return where the shuttle will be too far downrange, too high in altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. Endeavour currently 135 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, flying true. Endeavour, negative return. Negative return. Passing four minutes into the flight, Endeavour more than 
60 miles in altitude, 160 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 5,000 miles an hour. All systems looking very good. The environmental systems officer reports a good flash evaporator system has been activated aboard Endeavour, providing cooling for the avionics until payload bay door opening. Four and a half minutes into the flight, 63 miles in altitude, 200 miles downrange for Endeavour. Coming up on the five-minute mark into the flight, three good main engines, three good power-producing fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units, Endeavour clean as a whistle. Endeavour, press to ATO. Press to ATO. That call from Capcom Chris Ferguson indicating that even in the event of an engine failure, we can make our minimal orbital altitude targets. However, all three, three main engines continue to function normally. Endeavour currently traveling 8,000 miles an hour, 67 miles in altitude, 300 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour, single engine ops three. Single engine ops three. The guidance officer here in Mission Control confirming that Endeavour's computers are commanding the main engines to swivel again, enabling the shuttle to roll to a heads-up position above its fuel tank. This will enable Endeavour to gain better communications through the tracking and data relay satellite system heading uphill. Endeavour, press the Miko. That call indicating that even in the event of an engine failure, we can make normal orbital cutoff targets. Endeavour looking very fine right now. Three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units. Traveling more than 11,000 miles an hour, 66 miles in altitude, almost 500 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Seven minutes into the flight, about 90 seconds of powered flight remaining for Endeavour and its crew. Go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Okay, single engine press, 104, nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. That call indicating uh, for Commander Scott Kelly his plan of attack uh, once Endeavour is off of the fuel tank. Seven and a half minutes into the flight, the main engine soon will throttle down to limit the stress on the shuttle and its seven crew members to that of three times the effect of gravity. Endeavour currently traveling more than four miles per second. At the time of main engine cutoff, Endeavour will enter its preliminary orbit at a speed of five miles per second. Endeavour currently traveling at uh, 15,000 miles an hour. 20 seconds of powered flight remaining, standing by for main engine cutoff, which will be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. Standing by for external tank separation. External tank separation confirmed. Endeavour now in its preliminary orbit for Barbara Morgan and her crewmates. Class is in session.
Commander Scott Kelly now maneuvering Endeavor to the correct orientation so that video and digital stills of the fuel tank can be captured by cameras embedded in the shuttle's umbilical well. Copy. Nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not required. A smooth and uneventful climb to orbit for Endeavor and its seven crew members heading for what could be two weeks in space and a visit to the International Space Station with docking planned for Friday afternoon. Coming up momentarily, astronauts Tracy Caldwell and Dave Williams will begin video documentation and photography of that discarded fuel tank. Endeavor will be about 1,450 feet away from the tank at that time.